Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty Rec. We've got ourselves a beautiful match ahead of us. We've got the Gold South pre-made quarterfinals between the Old Guys Texas and Manitoba Mallards. Yes, this is not the last match. This is a new match. And we are in a hard point on Hotel. I'm CNK, and I'm once again joined by the lovely Tiej. Hotel hard point, CNK. Uh, what, do, what do we expect here? The ending. Hopefully... As good as the ending as I got the other night. By the way, I think this is the third time in a week I've casted Sig. I, I think I should start getting paid by the man. Uh, uh, we will see. OGT, nice start here. Avoid starting off 4-0. They're getting the opening P1 time, and we will see who can win those rotations. P2 right now. Trying to get behind is uh, are, are really both teams right now. I mean, fighting for those back spawns. Yeah, both these teams trying to fight for the P2. We are going to see the squad of Manitoba. It looks like they're going to be the first ones kind of over there getting ready to go. You do see a few OGT guys over there as well. It looks like a guy like Dakota around the back right now. He's actually going to be able to get a pinch off. Him and Avoid going to get some big kills. One more player to deal with. That's going to be trademarks. Definitely not someone you want to sleep on on the match. That guy's an absolute monster. Pretty much any call that he's played. But look at OGT off to a really nice start in this game. Up 50 to 12 right now. Absolute monsters. Yeah, great start from them, Manitoba, trying to find their footing, but not able to sit so far. Maybe you try one more push at this, and if not, you start to back up for the potential big money heal in P3. It looks like that is going to be what Hotbox decides to do. Now you're seeing those players spawning over there. So, yeah. If you are Manitoba, tough start, but this is the perfect kill to try to get back into it. Yeah, the P3 going to pop up over in back kitchen, but guess what? Guess who's out back? It's our boy Lennox. He's going to pick up two massive kills with one of three streak. That's going to help his teammates push this one in as the side of Manitoba kind of spawning all over the place. One by bedroom, one by restaurant. And the players in kitchen fall slowly to avoid X. The guy's an absolute beast. Eight and three so far on the map. 81 to 12 so far. OGT absolutely dominating the hard point to start things off. Still picking up some big kills on the defense of the hard point as well. They've got a nice setup going. Look at the feed just go to completely in favor of OG team. Manitoba still trying to push this one in. The team push is going to somewhat happen at this point in time through that side door. But still, kills in favor of OGT. OGT really cannot ask for a better start off of this one. Get some time on P1. Hold P2 for a while and then break in to P3 literally right away after losing their rotation. Manitoba sitting on a measly 12 points. Got to find something soon. They are set up again for next, but that was the same case on P3. They got broken right away. They need something because already four hills in, they're down 100. Yeah, four hills in, down 100 is definitely a little bit scary. They do get the early rotation once again. But is OGT going to be able to just break this one right away? Let us see. And the first couple kills coming in, you're going to see uh, True Luke. He gets one before getting taken down. His teammates from OGT. Look at Lennox. This guy's just the fry master right now. Get him on a hibachi grill. The guy's an absolute beast. And you see OGT? Guess what they did? They broke in. They took the hill. This is, this is bad, man. <laughs> this is not good for Manitoba. They got to find something very very soon because this is absolutely lopsided right now looking for a way in but ogt they're able to break in basically at first time asking and they're able to hold each and every wave that manitoba is throwing at them so we finding one needs some help and finally does get it so a break from manitoba to get themselves back within 130 <laughs> to get themselves back, back within 130 i like it um we're going to see the OGT squad here. They're going to be rotating to that P5, which you got to remember, there are six hills on this map, Tiege. Not just five. We got six. That first, This first rotation of P5 is going to be in favor of OGT. But Manitoba slowly getting this one pushed in, picking up some kills on the map to rotate over. Things were looking pretty grim to start things out, but they've been able to get themselves some points on the board here over the last hill or two. See if they can push into the P5. Early kills coming in favor of OG. Sorry, Manitoba is OGT trying to defend you. But we see Lennox popping up and down over there like the little snake, the snake that he is. B picks up a, a. Doesn't actually get any kills. Dakota picks up two. Dakota oh. gets a third. Actually, that was a void X with two. I'm getting confused by players left, right, and center, but that's on me. Manitoba, another chance to try to break it. They are getting close spawn, so they will look to break back in. And Dakota doing a really good job on this hill of shutting down. The boys from Manitoba, they will eventually break in. But when you got a lead the size of uh, OGT right now, you can afford to rotate pretty early. They're going to try to set up for this P6. Got to find the player in Hotbox, though, who's sitting around the kitchen. Uh, excuse me, the bedroom area. Does find one, finds a second as well. Nice little uh, chain of kills here from Manitoba, and they need all they can get at this point in time. 
Yeah. Any second is going to help uh, tremendously right now. If they can get this full 50 or 60 here, that would be absolutely amazing to get themselves back in the game. But guess what? Dakota says, I'm going to send in a cruise missile right now to say hello to you boys right now. That's going to land right in the middle of everybody. But guess what? A full four tick trophy was down. Stop that one in its tracks. A cruise missile the size of a car just got stopped. What are you, what are you going to do? Tiny, uh, tiny trophy getting it done. But OGT here, still trying to push in this back P6. Maricopa's done a good job defending it, but OGT, as they've been doing, they break in and they call in another cruise missile because we're just getting one every five seconds. Yeah, they'll use it, but not getting any kills. Trademark finds two. We'll break back into the point. Picked up on the cross. OGT will likely get to the last uh, 15 seconds here. We'll grow their lead even further and we'll look to close it out in the next few hills as all eyes toward P1 right now, but you're seeing the emphasis from OGT, already thinking about P2, trying to get those spawns to help to, uh, put themselves in the best position. Hotbox finds a crucial one, taken down right away though, and OGT will collect more time on this P1. Just, I mean, cruising right now. Yeah, I mean, OGT right now, they're gonna get to that tour right here momentarily. I mean, they're at 199 right now, you never know. Boys over on Manitoba can get it done, bring it all the way back. They're up to that 99 mark, only down by 100. They can channel a P1, P2 together. They got to deal with True Luke behind them. They're going to take him down, though. Look at Dakota. This guy picking up twos and threes around the map. Sigurd is going to chow that out. Gets taken down, so the back spawns will be in favor of OGT momentarily here. But Manitoba has done a great job on the P1 to get plenty of time. They're all the, all the way up to that 120-point mark, getting kind of close to... Be able to bring this one back and trademarks the man we've been looking for picking up some kills here over towards the new spawn is going to get taken down but helping his teammates out as far as just getting some early time on that p1 hey look crazier things have happened you got it down to 70 at this point but with ogt only one good hill away really no more mistakes at this point in time manitoba has to find a way to get in quickly to this hill find the break they're gonna try to flood through the chandelier side and basically just funneling themselves through that area it can be tough but getting some trades off the rip here so good job by them ogt still collecting the time at the moment trying to force their way through the back now is manitoba but lennox with the knife gets the kill on the trademark now with the tack and this looks like a nice hold here for ogt hotbox though trying to stay alive on point give his team a chance but it feel like it feels like time is running out here for manitoba yeah, I mean, not to mention, though, they also have to rotate to this P3 on the other side of the map. They're getting it done, though. Ten seconds remaining on the P2. We see a guy like Lennox spawn all the way towards back bus on P2, which is kind of a problem. But this P3 about to get hit out by this Manitoba squad. They know they got to get these kills on the OGT players, but OGT picking them up. The back spawn should be in favor of Manitoba. Is Toby going to be pushed up pretty far here? We're going to have to try to get on this one. Only 24 more points for OGT to win it. The first couple kills coming in favor of Manitoba. Can they get pushed in here? Down by about 70 or 80 points there. So they have to get on this one. Actually, almost 100. But uh, OGT doing a good job defending this one. Keep it contested. But Manitoba, they're going to get on this point. They are. I mean, look. Got to give them credit. They are fighting. Only 15 points away, though, for OGT. Getting the kills here on the two loop. Finding the kill on Hotbox. Looking for a second, he gets traded out. Three in the feed for Manitoba. They should be able to hold the rest of this time. Kind of a couple weird spawns here. Now player two, Dakota, might be able to chow this on point. Get a sneaky few seconds here. We'll see if he can find that kill at the top side of the map. He won't. He's taken down. Patient over to P4. OGT trying to set up, but they're getting taken down right now. One more big trade potentially coming in. Avoid just trying to play his life, wait for his teammates huge for him and that should allow his teammates to get up into the hill force this time and now manitoba uh, excuse me ogt in a tough spot yeah big split push kind of coming in here from manitoba though from the front and the back they're gonna get on the hill clear everything out only seven more seconds for ogt to win it but manitoba for the time being stalling that one out but another streak coming in on the map that's gonna be hot box this time for manitoba does not matter doesn't pick anything up the game is about to be over and ogt gonna close this one out I tell you what, that first map got pretty chaotic there for the time being, but a 250 to 184 closeout. Got to think. And it's did a good job bringing it back, but OGT, they get her done in the end. Yeah, I mean, if anything, Manitoba may be getting some confidence going forward. And I also am interested to see if there's any snipers out in the maps, but a lot of teams able to watch across with the sniper. Mid-map, we are loading into this one. You're seeing the pre need from SIG, and it is going to be OGT on the attacking side. Avoid X, the man... 
that did so much in that map one already putting on the pressure and getting that bomb down on B. I love to see it. Putting the time in your advantage on the offensive side automatically makes you the defensive team. We're going to see Manitoba try to break this one open. They get the two opening kills by getting the flank through office. That's going to be two down. Make it three. Is Manitoba going to be in a 3v1 now? True Luke, though, he's going to pick up a big kill. Now he's going to have an opportunity to maybe get this little 1v2 situation down to himself up against Sigburn and Toby. They should know where he's at up in office, but the way they're reacting it's going to be a little bit of an interesting challenge not a lot of time left they got to get this bomb diffused here and truly it's doing a good job defending yeah he tried to play his life for as long as he could but the peak comes in from sig and they get the kill and will get the round does uh, manitoba nice little retake from them uh, ogt doing a good job of getting that bomb down right away as you said putting on the pressure uh but OGT was really, really good on that, uh, excuse me, Manitoba was really, really good on that retake there and made it look pretty easy. Yeah, shouts to Manitoba there. They get it done. Love to see that out of them. Nice big round on the board, but they will be on the offensive side of the map now. Let's see how that goes for them. Are they going to opt to take this one nice and quick over towards tennis like most teams opt to do? The B site being a little bit easier to get the plant off on, but also you got to make sure you have got some cover on the map to be able to get that one done flawlessly without losing some players. We're going to see OGT on the defensive side. Going to send two to the B site, two to the A very quickly through office. First couple of kills going back and forth. Avoid X with a nice opener, but Trademark's trading that one out. The bomb is going to be stuck outer tennis though, which is not an ideal spot to be in favor of OGT at the moment. Yeah, it's, that's a tough place to leave the bomb. Lennox finds one on the Trademarks. 3v2 advantage here for OGT. Dakota in the top office area. He gets the kill on the SIG. And now Hotbox in a 1v3 with a sniper does find one. Bomb still down, though. And the information obviously granted here for OGT. They know exactly where he is. Tries to get across. Does find a Vaz, though. So round's not over yet. Yeah, round not over for sure. Hotbox in a 1v2. OGT here. You got Lennox and True Luke. Yeah, good situation for them to keep this defense going. Hotbox going to pop that deadly. He's got 30 seconds to get this bomb planted, so plenty of time to do that, but he's got to worry about two players on the map, and if he pops out this window, guess what? Everyone's going to know where he's at. Trying to just find something. Like, a funny thing is, he's actually going to be able to get this bomb and might be able to get it down, but you'd think with 10 seconds left, OGT would converge on this site, and they will, so tries to do what he can. Hotbox on the bomb. Tries to get some shots. <laughs> Pulls out the sniper. Trying to pull out all the tricks. But OGT, a nice sound and solid round. And they will tie this one back up. Yeah, good little tie up right there. Manitoba doing a good job. Uh, but OGT going to get it done. Get a nice round on the board. Tie things up one to one. Very early in the S&D, obviously. But uh, both these teams doing a good job on their like site retakes. And not even really a retake there for OGT. They just did a good job stopping the push and the plant to begin with nice pick towards outer tennis and love to see it right i mean you, you already know this team is going to do a good job on those defensive rounds but you got to see how Minnesota is going to adjust on offense but ogt taking this bomb nice and quick to the b site they should be able to get it down pretty quick they are going to have to worry about toby from the side door but they've got plenty of side cover and top cover to deal with that true luke going to get the first pick on trademark it's going to be a deadly blow for the side of Minnesota. Yeah, it is, and I, I thought the plan was going to be to get that bomb down quickly on B again, which the play was going that way. Now the bomb is going down on B, so Manitoba, a man down, and now bomb down, uh, bomb on site for them. Tough situation. Toby trying to make a play through mid-map with that deadly. Can he find one? No, Lennox does take him down. Sig with the trade, but 29 seconds to go, and you just have so many areas to clear. If you're on the defensive side here, Hotbox trying to get some shots on the Lennox, but like, as I said, it's just so hard. There's so many power positions you have to clear, and I mean, just closing the door on the man, this is a tough situation. Yeah, the door does get closed in his face there, but OGT, I mean, these guys are doing a good job setting up, but also, like, with how good they are as far as, like, the average, like, like gunfight ability between these players on that team, once they get into a power position, it is going to be pretty much chalked on getting them out unless you've got Deddy and you can kind of get a flank on them. But Manitoba not able to get it done in that round, but OGT cleans up another round. Very good squad we see here playing together in a very good S&D team. They're going to be back on the defensive side up 2-1. Yeah, again, it's it, 
just so hard, right? Like, if OGT is able to continue, continually get this bomb down quickly on the B site and have all that coverage, I think Manitoba is going to run into a big problem defensively. You know, I don't, I don't know how you slow that down, but I think you have to try something because it's kind of been free offensively right now for OGT. We'll see if Manitoba has an answer when they get back to that defensive side. Right now on the attack, the, the bomb kind of going down to that A side, so maybe we'll see our first action there. That is a problem, though, because True Luke does find the kill on the Toby. Now, bomb is down. They do have the lives advantage, though, if you are Manitoba, and now it is going to be all left up to True Luke. It's that daddy trying to get away, but... Manitoba, nice, uh, nice round win there. Just that time, just playing the numbers and playing kills, not really worrying too much about the bomb site. I mean, shout out Sigrid. I'm pretty sure he just picked up four kills. Guy's an absolute menace for that. The Fighting Ducks fighting on to get a nice round win right there. Shout out to the Manitoba Mallards with a big round win in a very convincing matter, but also the team leaders in Sigburn getting it done for you guys. And now OGT going to have to answer back. They are on the offensive side now. Things are tied up two to two. I mean, I'll tell you what. Tish, is this thing going round 11 or is OGT going to start closing out some more rounds? Well, like I said, I I'm trying to see what they're going to do. Uh, Manitoba is going to do defensively here. And you're seeing more of a presence over to this B side. You have some players on R and, and top AC just shut down these quick pushes. I think if Manitoba does... Oh. That's not a good stun. <laughs> uh, if Manitoba does that, they'll have a good chance of staying in this one. Trademarks from the back finds one on the true loop, but he's going to be trade or what right away. Avoid X is going to get that bomb down again on B, and it'll be another round where Mana uh, Manitoba has to fight to get to the fuse down a player. Yeah, going to be playing the retake here. It's going to be Sigburn and Toby. Sigburn, the guy who got the ace last time around here. Let's see what they can get going. Toby going to be pushing up the middle of the map with the sub. As Sigburn opting to go around the back of office with the AR. He's going to get immediately chowed by someone on the backside there. But Avoid X doing what he does best, getting some nice easy picks on the map, taking out Toby. But Dakota versus Sigburn in the back. Sigburn going to win that one. Big shout out of him winning a big fight there. But he's got two more players to deal with, only 13 seconds to defuse. So he should not have enough time to get this one done. But he's done his best to fight his way through this map. If he can just stay alive, that'll be ideal because I do believe he's on a four or five streak. So he's getting close to that cruise missile. Yeah, I was going to say the graphic is wrong. You're right. I think he's on a four, uh, five right now. Should be on a five. So, Should be on a five. So, he took out four last round, just got yeah. one this one. So Yeah, so definitely a nice little save there. I like the adjustment from Manitoba. just does not work out in their favor. And, again, when you're trying to retake bomb sites down, down numbers, it is always tough. But, as we said, Sig trying to acquire that cruise. We'll see if he is able to. Now taking out that sniper, maybe trying to get a free one here. We'll see if he's able to bomb for Manitoba going toward that B site like we usually do see. Let's see if Sig can find this pick on top AC. The amount of util just being chugged at the B bomb. It's going to end up working out for the side of OGT as he get the initial pick on the bomb. So now Manitoba in a little bit of a predicament here. The bomb is down on front B and OGT all four players up. So now Manitoba going to have to make a play here. And they also have to be careful and be aware of the flank and the players pushing from the front. That's going to be some big kills out of OGT. Only player left going to be Sigburn. In a 1v4, you're going to make a, a 1v3 for himself. Going to be one kill off that cruise missile. I thought he was on a 5 earlier, but he must have only been on a 4. Let's see if he can get another pick. He's going to push out into the open lane. He gets a nice pick with a sniper. Secures the cruise missile on a 1v2. 45 seconds to make a play. Man, that is a nice kill there by Sig. Problem is, you're still in a 1v2, and it is going to take an ace to win this round. As you said, though, it does have the cruise missile acquired, so at least he has that. But now you really have nothing to lose if you're Sig. I think you just got to make a try to make a play here with 22 seconds left. No Deddy as well. So he's just going to be running and trying to gun here. And I'm sure these players are hearing the steps through mid map. Player in orange definitely has to hear him, I would imagine. Sig knows there's a player top AC. Going to try to get this down, but he'll be converged on. Does find one. Knows that player is still up there. Cannot get an angle on him, though. Lennox just laying down up there, taking a nap, and will win his team the round. I mean, Sigbrain did a lot there with being initially stuck in a 1v4, almost pulls it off, ends with a 1v1. Uh, but OGT does the smart move, right? Only only a couple seconds left, not enough time to plant. They just hide, play their life. Love to see that out of them, doing some nice heads-up smart plays there. But 
That's going to allow OGT to be up 4-2. But Sigburn, the guy's 9-2 right now. He's got a cruise missile in the back pocket. And I'll be honest, he's not missing shots with that sniper. Yeah, he's been looking good. But team definitely needs, uh, definitely needs to pick him up here as well. Bomb going toward that A site. And, I mean, look, there's a couple, uh, there's an opportunity here. Trademarks does find the first one, though, on the true loop. Sig again with that sniper, trying to pick this player in top PD. But now, OGT, thinking better of maybe going to that A site, maybe trying to wrap this back to B. We'll see. At this point, it looks like really point picks and avoid. Tries to get some shots on the hotbox. Barely gets out of the life, life and gets the kill. So there you go, even numbers. Yeah, even numbers indeed gonna be a 3v3 a nice little explosion on the map we are gonna see that number two player dakota making his way through b he should get spotted soon by sig but yeah another couple kills coming in for the side of ogt now sig burn once again in a 1v situation it was technically a 1v3 he's gonna immediately call in that christmas look at his any kind of info he can launch that thing over towards the a site doesn't get a kill but he is gonna know that bomb isn't planted but he also knows there's some players behind him to worry about Ooh, sneaky boy down below sig is gonna get taken down and that's gonna be a five to lead for the OGT. Yeah, poor Sig. I feel like every round he's been in one. He's trying. He's trying. Yeah, he really is. That's the sniper. This man, one man army. Uh, yeah, I mean, just OGT. I feel like they're just making the better adjustments on the map right now, and it's paying off. And Manitoba needs to find an answer because you're facing a 2-0 series deficit. Never a situation you want to be in. And the way OGT looks right now, that is going to be a train that is tough to stop. Manitoba, back on the offensive side. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, you end up losing the round right there, but also now you don't have your cruise missile as well on your best player in Sigburn. But you know what? That'll happen. This bomb is going to get rushed towards the B side. We're going to see Trademark try to get it down. He's got a player nice and close to him. That's going to be a Void who picks up one, picks up the second as well. A Void trying to close this map out. It's going to be a 3v2. Once again, Sigburn, you know, like a numbers deficit. It's going to be Sigburn and Hotbox. God versus all of OGT for the most part. But Hotbox, he's going to get a nice opening pick to help the team out towards the B site. Avoid X. He wants to push this. He's like taking this shallow all day, every day. Uh, Sigbrin, I don't think he's there. He definitely knows he's there, but he's going to get taken down. The pistol versus the Vaznev. Never a fun situation. And now we're going to see Hotbox got in a 1v2. The map on the line has to win this round, but he's going to have a player behind him and a player top off. Is that player behind him going to get some shots on? But Hotbox got going to grab this bomb immediately, wrap towards the. Actually, he's going to go top AC. I thought he was going to wrap towards A and get it down. He's going to have two players to deal with here. I mean, they. OGT is playing this well, though, because Avoid knows he didn't cross the A, so you have an idea of where he is on the map. Now you just got to make sure you're not giving your, your life away for free. Still in this top AC area, Avoid going on a little bit of a run to try to find him. But, I mean, Hotbox, this is not not a great situation. Does see him top PD, though. He can get this pick, maybe make it interesting, but shots on, nothing connects. Now you have to plant this bomb. Not even going to have time to do that, and this will be the map OGT continuing to fry they go up 2-0 in the series yeah that 2-0 lead is going to feel great as well going into an LSC low control but this OGT team is very hard to keep up when it comes to the slaying department but also when it just comes to the overall like everything right and right away we're going to see Manitoba on that offensive side looks like they're going for the A break whereas OGT going to be on the defense have two players over there one of them going to be Lennox with the AR top tower. And he's a scary man for sure. I actually like Manitoba starting on offense here because if you win this off offensive round, maybe just get some momentum on your side. I think that's going to be a big thing. The focus to start here is going to be on this A side. And Sig in the power position up a tower. Trying to stay alive. He actually tries to push through, though. Gets taken down. So after the first wave of kills... Pretty even so far. Maybe let's see if Manitoba can get on this time to stop the time. Looks like that's what they're going to try to do now. Yeah, Manitoba doing a good job here fighting for this first point. The east side of the map going to be a little bit easier for the most part. But, I mean, guys like True Luke ain't letting that one happen for free. Nice little three-piece out of him. We're going to see what how Manitoba adjusts to this defensive setup. They've still got one player pushed up. That is going to be Hotbox. But as soon as I say it, he does go down, of course. Had to cast or curse the man. But, I mean, right now, Old Guys Texas, they may have had a little bit of a rough start on the defensive side, but they are very much so having a fun time now. Manitoba is so staggered right now. Like, they just cannot get anything going. There you go. Now you get some kills, and you have some presence over to B. If they can push this fast, may be able to put some pressure on the OGT. You're seeing the spawns back PD now. And, again, 
to just get on this point, get some trophies down, and they're getting the kill. So what looked bleak for a moment, maybe a chance now for Manitoba. Dakota finds one. The trade does come in. Avoid X. Another two piece in the feed. What can this guy not do sitting at five and one? Look, we've given this guy a lot of praise in this series, but it has been well deserved. I mean, well deserved indeed. The guy's amazing for sure. He's currently six and one on the map. His teammates also just there with him. And you see a guy like True Luke. This guy's picked up multiple two pieces on the map. He picked up a three piece to start things out on the A defense. And he picked up another two piece right there. Very important. Look at Dakota just snap back and forth. And I mean, talk about a perfect defense on El Asilo right there. Manitoba did not. I mean, they got one tick over on the B side of the map. But for the most part, OGT was not giving anything up. Yeah, I, I just think, as I kind of mentioned, there was a lot of staggered pushes right there for Manitoba. And maybe that's just a sign of a team that's a little bit frazzled right now. It's what's kind of happened tonight. Just got to reel it back in a little bit. This is basically a much win round for them, I think. If, if you go down 2-0 in this control where uh, the series hasn't went your way, I think you're going to get absolutely deflated. So this is a big round for Manitoba. Have to lock it down. Yeah, lockdown will be very important here. We're going to see OGT pushing through on the offensive side, obviously on the back of Avoid X and True Luke. These two guys, the top tier dudes on the team, picking up some monster kills for the squad today. But you're going to see a guy like Sigburn. He's just chilling up top A side right now, just trying to help the guys out as much as he can. But we can already see OGT doing a very good job on the initial A push. They get that first tick all the way through. Oh. But Toby, he's going to push on in, pick up a nice two piece. Big kills from Toby. Now just trying to stay alive does get that nade coming into him so OGT now with some presence over towards the safe side trademarks trying to keep them off of it I mean right now Manitoba just trying to really I feel like play your kills right now not do anything too crazy they have some map positioning but OGT now knowing this shifting their focus over to the B side at least they were for a moment Drew Luke on this back party area trying to find any kills he can but get one or two kills here like he does now this is your chance to hop a point and that's exactly what they're going to do i mean true luke guys 12 and 5 he's a very dynamic player gets it done for the squad with the stacking on b for ogt this is what we love to see shout out jim's the guy likes to stack the point he likes to tell you to stack the point true luke he's trying to take some nice shots at trademarks but the squad over on, on uh, manitoba helping out trademarks there to keep him alive but the b point will be completely gone look at the rotation all the way over to the a point as well dakota already on it getting some help over there and it's about the original, the uh, the first little defense for the second or third push here towards A. Doing an okay job on the start, just making sure they don't give up any early ticks in the second half of this. Again, yeah, man, power of the stack. They get a few down, and then they just put all four members on point. It just goes by so fast. Uh, I mean, OGT, just doing everything right, and they have been all night, and this is why they have the lead that they do. Now, Lennox... Trying to be a menace on this top power area. He is taken down, though. And it's your Manitoba. You have to fight for your life to not give up this A point, or your season will be in jeopardy. Doing a good job now, Boyd. Again, trying to be a menace. Right now, True Luke having a nice map on his own. Uh, uh, on his own, excuse me. 14 and 6. Let's see what OGT elects to do here. Time is ticking. The guys on Manitoba got to throw some coal in the boiler now. They got to get going. They got to try to get this one going the best they can. They've got to try to win this round here. Because like you said, the season could be on the line if you lose this one. And so far, we're going to see OGT getting that second tick on the A point. Some of the teammates coming in to help out very shortly. Manitoba trying to get a stop on this. But the first tick, sorry, the second tick on A all the way through. The third one started as well. Dakota's really just been allowed to sit here. He is going to finally get taken down. That's going to be a full squad wipe. But it's a little bit too late. Two ticks going to be through. GT only needs one more to close out the round. They've only got 30 seconds, though, so if Manitoba can shut down this next push, they're looking pretty good. I like this play from Trademarks. Getting aggressive toward yellow, but he's taken down. And now, I was going to say, you have the, the players on OGT spawning toward green, but the kill is coming in. Sig, this is an important kill, and he gets it. Trade comes in, though, and now the stat, a couple players on the point here for OGT. I don't know if Manitoba is going to be able to get back in time. That time is ticking, and they will not. OGT find the kills and with those two ticks already in hop on the point get that third they are one round away from advance hey I mean this man Toba squad they got to get something going here right we got to win not only three rounds in a row but three maps in a row right if you can get it started with three rounds in a row you're looking pretty good
The side of OGT, though, you're up 2-0 in the series and 2-0 in the control. Things are looking pretty good as far as securing your semifinals appearance, getting ready for that championship in a few weeks here. But Manitoba not out yet. They've got a lot of experience and talent on this team. Can they get it done in this third round of control? Question, Dakota already with two. He is going to get traded out, but the damage really already done because now if you're Manitoba, you have two members down. Can't really stack this point. You got to try to push through and make a play, but that is getting shut down. Hotbox, though, with a little help from Trademarks, finding the kill. So now Manitoba is still trying trying to attack this B-side. Toby being annoying in Garage. Sim, you can find any kills, but now maybe a chance to stack the point. You got to watch Lennox in the back. And the kill's coming in for the side of OGT. They collapse on the last player left alive on B, but the side of Manitoba going to immediately go to spawn to the A side of the map. They get one tick on the B side. They've got a minute to try to keep getting some of these uh, of these points captured here. The A point is going to start having a little bit of time tick down on OGT, trying to rotate themselves over. But Trademarks and Hotbox have been absolutely fine with the ARs on this side of the map, and Sigbert obviously on the main AR helping them out as well. So far, things looking pretty good for Manitoba as far as getting some ticks on the board here. They've got the spawn trap sort of in effect, getting things going. Yeah, man, they're finding a lot of kills in a row here. They'll be able to capture this A point. I think if you're OGT, you just kind of need to chalk A up at this point. Having said that, though, that's going to be three down. So now you can, if you find this kill on the Toby before this tick goes through, which they're going to try to do, now you put uh, Manitoba in another tough situation. They thought they're going to have one minute added to the clock. They do not. They got to find some time somewhere. They also got to find some kills to fight out of the SIG with trying to get those kills over to True Luke, but he finds another two double positive right now and doing all for his team. Yeah, I mean, these guys are frying. You see a Void X and True Luke. These guys are some absolute monsters. They like to get it done on the map, but we see Manitoba only 27 seconds to get on a point. Stop this clock. Toby's close, but so are a lot of Manitoba. Oh, sorry, <laughs> old guys, Texas players. Manitoba going to get that slight push towards A. They've got one player on. Make it to his hotbox. Going to join the party. They got to get this one all the way down. They need the extra minute. The lives are looking great. Hotbox got with a nice two-piece. The A point can be fully secured. Can they push their way through to the B side of the map? Already a tick and a half over there. If they can get there quick, get some of these kills on the board, it could be a pretty easy round. Trademarks is the guy here, though. If he can find some positioning to get in uh, some kills, it could open up the map for his team. But now, if you're OGT, you have to recognize that this pressure has to become back true loop turns around finds top box and now gonna try to look for trade on top of party he finds toby instead now trademarks last alive for manitoba on the side of the map he's taken down and now if you're a manitoba you have probably two good pushes to keep your season alive really depends on the speed of the team here but i do agree two more pushes coming in manitoba trying to get their push through the middle of the map right now they're trying to get any close angles they can let those subs eat Void X, he's coming around the back though. So the second you engage, you're gonna have one of the best players on the entire map coming from behind immediately with a chance to pick up one or two kills. Manitoba with a slow push here. They're gonna have to get on this one as quick as possible, pick up some of these kills, but oh my gosh, OGT picking up two. Sigmar gonna answer with one of his own. Some kills back and forth, but for the most part in favor of OGT. We still see a Void X just kind of creepy crawling around. He's gonna hear some things, doesn't quite see anyone right now. You have to find kills. There you go. There's two. You have to find it and now get on this point. And this is the chance. As you said, you got to uh, get a Void X, but they find it. Now hop on this point. True Luke's taken down. This is the opportunity. You got to stack this point. That third tick trying to get there. Lennox trying to keep this alive for OGT. Dakota with the kill. Find the second. Toby trying to stay alive on the point. Fighting for his life. Does get taken down. And that should be it. Maybe one more player. Hotbox got does find one. Staying alive on this point, he's taken down the time ticking, and that will do it. OGT survive by the skin of their teeth, but they take the control 3 0 and take the series 3 0. I mean, this OGT team very impressive. Take the series 3 0. They're looking like some absolute dogs down here in that Gold South pre made division.